Uh, good afternoon. I appreciate to have the opportunity here to present our work. Uh, thanks to the Dream Challenge, we have uh, substantially uh, benchmarked and uh, uh, improved our algorithm, our tool, no break for structural variation detection in cancer genomes. Today, I would like to share our experience in participating in the ICGC TCG uh, somatic mutation calling structural variation sub challenges. So what, what is structural variation? Structural variation is the type of uh, variation that uh, have structural changes between or uh, within chromosomes. Uh, recent studies have shown that they include uh, deletions, inversions, uh, insertions, duplications, etc. Recent studies have shown that uh, structural variations can contribute more divergence and polymorphism both between and within species. So they are very important type of variation. I like uh, uh, Dr. James Lapsky's analogy. Imagine our genomes as a type of uh, encyclopedia book of life. Uh, single nucleotide variance can be represented as uh, typographic errors in letters of alphabets. While structural variations can be represented as uh, deletions or modifications of uh, entire sentences, paragraphs, or pages, or even large parts of the entire volume. So they're very important. There are many challenges in uh, structural variation detection in using next generation sequencing technology. Uh, there are many types of structural variations include deletion, deletion duplication insertions, Etc. Each type of uh, structural variation has its own mapping signatures. The sizes of a structural variation vary from tens of base pairs to millions of base pairs. And uh, next generation sequencing reads are extremely short, are very short, and they are very difficult to map to the reference genome. This is especially true when uh, structural reads containing structural variation in, the, uh, in them. In cancer genomes, the impurity or heterogeneity increase the difficulty of the uh, structural variation detection. And in cancer, structural variations can be extremely complex. For example, recently uh, discovered patterns of uh, chromosome crypsis and the chromosome plexi are very extreme uh, complex patterns of structural variation. They have uh, the implication the hypothesis of chromosome crypsis has uh, uh, some implication of uh, rewriting or uh, taking over of a traditional view of a cancer evolution. So structural variation in cancer are very important. T typically, there are two types of structural variation algorithms. One is a resequencing-based methods. The other is a whole genome de novo assembly methods. Uh, resequencing based methods are to find the structural variations based on the mapping signatures of short reads. These signatures include discordant read pairs, uh, read depths, split reads, etc., or a combination of them. The insert size of uh, the current mainstream uh, SV colors are all based on these methods. However, these type of methods are, uh, depends heavily on the insert size or read depths which are not very early as expected. So they have limitations. The other method is the whole genome assembly methods. Whole genome assemb assembly method tries to recover the original sequence that contain the structural variations. As we know, structural variation, uh, whole genome de novo assembly methods is a challenging problem per se. It requires high coverage data and it requires specific library preparation. So it's very uh, difficult um, experimentally. And uh, the assembly re results can easily be affected by repetitive sequences, sequencing errors, and heterologous, etc. So to achieve a better sensitivity and specificity, we uh, develop no break. No break takes full advantage of a KMER strategy. KMER is an all-length key of 
substrings of a, a sequence. Uh, we observe that if a short read contains a breakpoint, so there's many keywords of that read can contain that breakpoint. We call that keywords, that those kind of keywords, novel keywords. No break only consider those novel, novel keywords and the short reads that are associated with novel keywords. So here's the workflow of uh, no break. We start from the tumor reads and we chop the tumor reads into keywords and index in the, in the hash table uh, data structure. And by filtering against the reference genome, we can get the uh, keywords with sequencing errors with generalized and semantic mutations, we will filter out the uh, germline ones, and then we filter against the normal reads. And this time, the germline mutations, germline ones, will be filtered out. Only semantic normal keywords were left. We observe that in a breakpoint, there are many keywords can cover that breakpoint, and for each break. For each camer, there may be many reads that cover that camer, novel camer. So based on this relationship, we can uh, we use the modified unified algorithm to cluster them in the uh, cluster them into a cluster uh, around each breakpoint. And for each for each cluster, we did a local assembly to get the contig of that uh, of the break of the sequence that cover the breakpoint. After we get in the, 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 the context, we uh, align the context to the reference genome using BWMAP to obtain the, to infer the structure variations. And finally, we develop the, uh, a statistic model to score and rank each variant and output a single VCL file. So, the dream challenge consists of two parts. One is uh, uh, in silico data, and the other is uh, real data. Uh, the in silico data was accomplished by the state-of-the-art tool BAM Surgeon. The input of BAM Surgeon is the high coverage uh, real cancer cell line data, a uh, cell line data or real patient data. Uh, it's high coverage. It halves is into two parts. One was re regarded as uh, normal, and the other was backed in mutations and uh, treated as a uh, tumor. So, <clears throat> BAM surgeon can not only uh, simulate all types of variations; it can uh, it, it can simulate uh, uh, subclones. So, uh, BAM surgeon can the the BAM surgeon is can simulate the data very similar to the real situation. So the in silico one data is a simple case. It's 100% purity, and there is no subclones. And only single nucleotide variants and the structural variations were simulated. For structural variation, only deletions, duplication, and inversions were simulated. The total number is smaller than 400. And uh, we, we, um, we submitted several results, and the best of, uh, submission can achieve the highest sensitivity. But we didn't tune off uh, perfectly for this round. We ranked in the fourth place. Uh, the learned, we learned from the in silico data one and the improved and developed the uh, scoring system. And in silico two, added uh, insertions, and uh, it's 80% purity. And the, the, the number of structural variations were increased to 600. We learned from uh, in situ one, and uh, uh, the scoring system really worked. And we achieved the best perform performer uh, in this round. The in silico three data is the most uh, difficult one for all for several variations. In silico three, uh, not only include SNVs and SVs, it also include deletion, uh, in, insertion deletion, short insertion deletions, and it contains some clones. And the structural variation numbers were increased to 
3,000. So this is really challenging. And again, we uh, further improved the scoring system and ranked in the first place in this round. Uh, with the permission from the Dream Team, we, we, we looked at, into the data why we achieved the better than uh, the other tools. Uh, the precision of these top performers are of single level, but the sensitivity of no break is better than the other teams. We look into the uh, we, we, we look into our data and uh, compare it with the ground truth. We found that uh, no break can have sen uh, better sensitivities for detecting insertions. Uh, for instance, no break in this round can discover 100 more no, uh, true insertions than Meta and 120 more true insertions than Delhi. That was about 5% of the ground truth. So how no break can achieve better sensitivity? Because no break can use more reads. Uh, this is uh, an illustration in the upper um, figure. It's, um, uh, uh, in the, if there is a break point, and uh, based on the pair end uh, alignment, pair end alignment, alignment methods, uh, when confronting the break points, is uh, it, it, it's usually cannot mapped, or some of the rays can only be partially mapped. So um, the useful rays are really rare. But uh, no breaks camera-based classroom method can take full advantage of most all the rays. It's alignment free, so it can use more rays. Another important feature for structural variation detection is breakpoint accuracy. Uh, we also compare the uh, top performers of the round. We found that um, no break has the highest precision for uh, breakpoint accuracies. About 99% of uh, uh, breakpoints will fall into the minus two to two base, pair, base, two base pairs when comparing with the ground truth. Uh, in CITICO 4 data remove the insertions make it less challenging. But it, it, again, we, uh, um, we further tune the parameter and uh, um, obtain the, the best performance. But in this round, I would like to see the single nuclear variance and the indels are extremely hard. We uh, apply the framework of a normal break to detect indels and uh, for Intel leaderboard, we also ranked the, the first place. I'm very happy with that. Um, we, we don't know the other tools' details, so we compared the, uh, we, we, we tested uh, using another two widely used tools. One is the JTK, High Flight Caller, and the other is a, a Striker for uh, detecting Intel's for a comparison, comparison purpose. Um, the precision of uh, the other tools are not uh, very good, so I just uh, do not care about precision and I include all the cores of uh, the tools, just to compare the sensitivity. We found that um, for JTK, it has uh, less power of detecting. The, the blue bars is the uh, JTK's results. You can see that the, in the index cells, one, two, and three, uh, there's a less, uh, it's a deficiency in detecting these type of uh, indels. Well, for Strika, as the indel size increase, the power of uh, Strika also low and goes down. For example, the for insertions of larger than 25 base pairs, uh, Strika cannot report anything. So, the real data of uh, uh, this dream challenge are still are still under uh, investigation. So we, we tested an outbreak on the real cancer cell line. It's a no, uh, Colo 829. There are two papers previously uh, um, uh, reported the structural variation. And uh, the left figure is the uh, validated results from the two papers. Uh, there is 40, uh, 48 in total. No breaks can uh, discover almost all of the 
uh, three points, and uh, and uh, and again it can discover more than the previous results. And for comparison purpose, we selected the typical tools for structural variation detection: Brickdancer, Daly, and Fermi. They represent uh, three typical algorithms for detecting structural variation, and we found that uh, using the default parameters, the other tools called more than 1,000 or 10, more than 10,000 uh, cores, and the uh, sensitivity is still lower than uh, no break, suggesting there is a loss of false positives. So no break can be applied to other types of uh, application. For example, when we without, uh, when given without uh, uh, a tumor or co control risk, we can discover germline events and it can used to be discovered as NVs and the indels and can be applied to whole exon data. And it can also be used in the RNA-seq data for detecting of gene fusions and the novel splicing events. So in summary, we developed a novel algorithm, no break, to uh, participate in the dream structural variation challenge. The novelty of no break is like it's camera filtering, clustering, and the local assembly algorithm. It, can, it has higher sensitivity and precision than current uh, methods. The applications of a no break is wide. So finally, I would like to thank uh, our group, Kenchen Group, Ian Anderson, for their helpful discussion. And I would like to thank Dr. Jue Ran for his uh, helpful, insightful uh, suggestions, and Dr. Mingao for her uh, experimental validation and uh, uh, testing of the tool, and the 1000 Genome SV Group and the ICGC Pan Cancer Working Group 1.8 and the Retro Transportation Subgroups for um, testing and uh, benchmarking no break. And finally, I would like uh, especially like Dream Team, it's very poor and uh, Gastova for uh, their helpful suggestion and uh, 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 testing of the tool. Okay, thank you so much. I'm Andre Grigoriev. I'm actually representing the group that was scored second in the fourth challenge, right? So these are the results of the first four, or this is the results of the five submissions? The first three, okay. So there's gonna be a separate scoring on the fourth and fifth and so on. All right, so I, I'm curious because you see, uh, in the table we were, uh, on balanced accuracy, we were lower by the position fourth after the decimal point, right? So it means that, you know, the algorithm, algorithms produced very close results. I'm curious, actually, if you looked further into that, because I don't have access to the submission of uh, Nova Break, what were those separating variants? Uh, because there's probably only a handful of them that distinguish the first position and the second. And in that regard, I'm also curious uh, about the scoring algorithm because we had one of those you called live benchmarking submissions we submitted later and in one of the competitions we had balanced accuracy above one so there must be obviously and it's still there right on the in one of the leader, le leaderboards so there must be some imp imperfections in the scoring i'm sure as evidenced by that it would be interesting to in fact compare in more detail Meaning, Well, one, I 
Yes, actually, we have uh, tested a few samples on uh, RNA-seq. The sensitivity is, is good, and I'm still um, working on that and to further improve the performance of an outbreak. You guys plan to take an SMP RNA? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs>